All right, this is Kelly Gammon's video for Head and Neck Anatomy. I went ahead and took this that I photocopied and filled in all of the regions here. Around the eyeball, it's the orbital region, the nose area, nasal, it's kind of self-explanatory, as well as around the mouth being the oral region. Here we have the mental region, which sounds a little funny, but that is the chin, and the buccal region, which is the cheeks. Zygomatic is the cheekbones, as you can see. This guy as well. Orbital eyes, nasal nose, oral, mouth area, mental chin. Infraorbital is the front of the cheekbones almost. You see under the orbital region here between the nasal and the zygomatic or cheekbone area. Temporal is where you'd find your temple. The frontal area here is gonna be your forehead, the top part of your head. The parietal region takes up the most area um, it's divided into two by the sagittal suture here. Occipital is the back of the head, that lump that you feel. That lump you feel behind your ear is called the mastoid process, and that was interesting. The opening of your ear is actually called the external auditory meatus. This line right here is going to be your sternocleidomastoid, and there is also a sheath of muscle going around your neck called the platysmus, which goes all the way around here. As you can see, oral, mental, buccal. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and label them. So, orbital region, infra. Orbital, you're going to see on this next to it, which would make this zygomatic. Temporal and frontal. It's pretty self-explanatory. The glabella, right over the nose right between the eyes, nasal region, oral region, mental region, buccal, cheeks, again, external, auditory meatus, And the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid, runs this way. SCM, and your platysmus is located in here. So that is uh, the regions of the head and neck.